This is day 109 of my 120, which will be 150 or 100 and whatever with everything going on, um, with what's going on around the world. Obviously, you guys aren't going to see this video until a year after, but you know what was going on. So, I don't really got much again today. Like I said, uh, the mood, I think the general mood around the whole ship is kind of up in the air. That's just my personal opinion. And, you know, it's, it's just because of everything going on. Uh, currently, I'll just put percentages on it, okay? I believe about 40% of the crew right now has already passed their 120, um, either by a week to two and a half weeks or so, about 40% of the crew has passed their contract date, and it's because of what's going on um, between you know, the unions, the governments, the airlines, everything's up in the air. So about 40% of us um, are past the 120 contract mark. Me and about maybe 30 or 40% more will be passing our 120 and our contract dates in about another two to three weeks. Um, and then the other like 20% or so, 20, 30%, they still have another month and a half to two months to go but in about two to three weeks more than 70 percent of the crew will be like a month past their their contracted dates here um which kind of sucks because i mean i can't it sucks for us but I'll say like for, for crew changes on ships, they generally try to stagger the crew out. Uh, that way for, you know, for training purposes and things like that, it's easier because, you know, if you have at least half the crew has already been here and the other half gets changed out, then the new half of the crew and the old half of the crew can kind of <clears throat> say you know just for just for like emergency purposes at least half of the crew knows the ship already um has gotten used to how things go for safety things and safety procedures and whatnot but here in another month and a half or so when more than 70 percent of this crew and i'm, I'm sure it's going to be like this on a lot of ships that have kind of been stuck with the crew changes I'm sure it's gonna be like that for a lot of ships where more than half or more than 70% of the crew it's gonna be a huge crew change which really just isn't good all around it's not good for you know ship procedures like I said for an emergency you have a whole 70% of the crew comes on and they don't know anything about the ship um, you know, exit, exit strategies, emergency exits, they don't know anything, and say some kind of, you know, real emergency came down, like a fire or something like that, well, on ships, we are the fire department, you know, we are, we're the medical officers, we're, we're our own little city on these ships, so when you have over 70% of the crew that is unacquainted with the ship, and if something drastic did happen, and those people aren't uh, accustomed to the ship yet then they're not gonna know what to do um, so I think generally speaking I think most of the time they try to have people you know the crew changes staggered out that way at least half the people know what's going on um, like here typically we'll have like the captain you know the captains switch out but the chief mate, which is one below the captain on the deck side, will have like, the captain will be on, and halfway through this captain's uh, contract, 
the chief mate will be switching out. So no matter what, one captain will see both chief mates on the crew change. That way there's always, you know, a 50-50, somebody knows what's going on on a ship. And that's really gonna affect this whole, you know, outbreak and everything around the world is really gonna affect that on a lot of ships where, you know, we can, you can't expect guys to stick out here two, three months past their contracts. And now that they are being stuck out, the staggered crew changes are all going to be affected. And that's, it's really going to affect things, I think, on, on the, all these ships. Um, on top of that, it's really going to affect job rotations in general back home for people. Because, say, you know, in a month or so, when all this lets up, hopefully, hopefully it all lets up in about a month or so, we have these huge crew changes across all the ships. Now, instead of being staggered, we have this huge changeover, huge changeover going home. Now, that huge changeover that, that goes home say in three or four months when they want to come back for work because they're doing four on four off they might have i me i might have a hard time getting a finding or getting a job to come back because there's going to be such a huge changeover going to shore that we're all you know anybody that plans on only staying home for four months we're all going to be trying to come back to ships in four months and that could be an issue as well. Um, I don't. I don't know how that's going to affect everything, but that's what just popped in my head. <laughs> uh, I hope that all makes sense to you guys. If you guys are in the industry, then you know maybe it'll make sense to you more. Uh, and I mean, correct me if I'm wrong or if I'm like my thinking is just not right. But that's there's just I think there's going to be some. You know, it might be a little weird this next year. Uh, on top of that, I currently just seen my subscriber count at 398. Now, I know that's still a pretty low number, but I can't thank you guys enough. Um, and I'm saying this now, and who knows what it's going to be in a year from now when this video goes up. But currently right now, I'm at 398 subscribers and it's it's taken quite a while but i didn't i i honestly didn't expect it to ever get up as much as it has i don't really know how long i've been doing this i've been doing this like a year and a half i think i'm going on two years but and i'm grateful i truly am you know there's there's some people there's some channels other types of channels that they start making videos and people like their videos right away. I know this, my own personal channel on the, the maritime industry, it's not a, really, a big popular channel, um, but I'm happy with what I got. I'm happy with you guys so far. And I'm happy with the feedback that I get from you guys. Uh, a lot of you leave comments, you know, thanking me and it makes me feel better. It makes me feel like I am actually helping you guys. Uh, and thank you that's what I gotta say that's all I have for, for tonight um, so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button um, most likely I'll be over the 400 soon but uh, every single one of you counts and I appreciate it thank you uh, comment, question like and share the videos guys I'll see you in tomorrow's video